Terry Vanderheim here. I'm going to show you how to make a watermark in Photoshop. It's really easy, so check it out. All right, so here's a quick and easy way to make a watermark in Photoshop. First, you open an image. Make sure your layers panel is open here so you have access to it. So the first thing you're going to do is go over to your text, hit your text button, and check your options. I'm using Helvetica Bold, and I've got it filled with white. So we're getting ready to type, so we just put our cursor down. I like to use copyrights, and that's option G on the Mac. We'll make that little copyright symbol, and then just go ahead and type your name. All right, then I grab the Move tool, and, you know, we can move it around to wherever we like. So that's one way to make a watermark, but, you know, that's nothing special. So what we want to do is we want to add a little bit of drop shadow to it. So we go over to the Effects. Go down to the drop shadow. Your uh, layer style palette will come up. And of course you can move this to give you an idea of where the angle of the light is coming from. But also probably easier is just click right on the image and then you can move the shadow wherever it is you want. So we're going to move it a little bit down and to the right. And we'll maybe give it a little, little more blur. Click OK. So now we've got over here in the layers palette, we've got our two layers. we got our original layer and then we have our layer that has our copyright on it. Again, works okay, but it's not very subtle. So you can go up to opacity, and let's say for instance you want to reduce the opacity. If you start reducing the opacity of this layer, the whole layer goes away. The shadow, the fill, everything. But this is the neat thing about Photoshop, is they have a thing here that's called fill, and it allows you to just reduce the fill in a layer. So watch this. As we reduce this, Look at that, the fill goes away, but the drop shadow still remains in its intensity. So you can make this subtle and make it however you want so that people can see it. The best thing about this is this is an active layer. So when you want, if you don't like where it's positioned, you can move this thing around and whatever's behind it's gonna be showing through it transparent. So it's really a neat way to go. And that drop shadow stays the same. If you wanna change the drop shadow, you can always click on drop shadow, it'll come back up and go into go into drop shadow and you can change the intensity of it but for the most part you know it defaults to 75 and that seems to work pretty good so easy way to make a watermark in Photoshop you can drag it to your position wherever you want and also fill it for as much as you want if you'd like to pull back a little bit and leave a little bit you can do that or you can just take it all the way out and then just have a drop shadow that you're moving around this transparent all right give it a try want to learn more about Photoshop Check out my hands-on classes at imagelightlearning.com.